Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we'll continue our discussion of KDE plots. We finished our last lecture by discussing how we can adjust the bandwidth of our univariate KDE plots by passing the bandwidth attribute. And another thing we can do is make the KDE plot appear on the y-axis instead of on the x-axis. For that, all we have to do is pass an attribute called vertical and set it to be equal to true. Let's see an example of that. So you can say SNS that KDE plot and then pass, let's say, Y axis. So this is the normal KDE plot. You see here the plot appears on the X axis. So to make it appear on the Y axis, we pass another attribute called vertical. So SNS that KDE plot and then we pass our y axis attribute y axis and then our vertical attribute and set it to be true and if you run it now the plot appears on the y axis and we can do the same for the x axis variable one last thing i want to show you is how we can plot more than one bivariate KDE plot on the same graph. So here, this is a KDE plot for a bivariate data set. And we can also plot two of this KDE plots on the same graph. For that, we'll be using the iris data set. And what we will do is take two of the iris species and consider two of the attributes, for instance, petal length and petal width for each of the two Irish species. And then we'll plot two, con two KDE plots to represent the two Irish species. Okay, let's do that. Let's start by loading our Irish dataset and we'll save it in a variable called Iris, SNS that load data set and then we'll pass our iris data once we load that we'll be as i mentioned we'll be using two of the iris species let's use maybe setosa and versicala or virginica it doesn't matter okay let's start by setosa and for that we'll pass the so from the iris data set We'll set the species to be equal to setosa. Okay, let's start by doing that. So setosa. And once we have this, we'll be using the lock method and then save this in a variable called setosa. So we'll, we'll use the iris.lock method on our Irish species setosa. And we'll do the same thing for our second iris species let's use versicolor so we'll save that in a variable called versicolor and we'll set that to be equal to iris.lack and then we'll set the iris species to be versicolor so iris.species we'll set that to be equal to versicolor versicolor once we have our iris species we can simply call this variables and pass the variable attributes that we want to calculate. In this case, maybe petal length and petal width. Okay, let's use that. So SNS that KDE plot and we'll pass. So from Setosa, we want to use petal length and petal width. So what we can say is Setosa that we can call those attributes. One is petal length, and then the second one is what? Petal width. So for the same setosa species. So setosa dot petal width. So that's for the setosa iris species. And let's do the same. So this is the same as what we did before x axis and y-axis right let's do the same for the second iris species which is versicolor 
so SNS that KDE plot and then pass versicolor that petal length and then versicolor that petal width make sure that you have both of the KDE plot methods in the same cell otherwise you'll have two separate KDE plots okay if we run this now we have two KDE plots right they both look the same what we can do is we can pass the color map attribute and then pass different color maps so let me copy this paste it here and for our set up species let's pass a color map of maybe cool one we saw this earlier and for our second kde okay, flat we can leave the default we can use the default color or we can pass the color map attribute and pass another color maybe rdbu let's see rdbu and run it so now we have two different KDE plots with different with different color maps. We have on the x-axis we have petal length, on the y-axis petal widths. And if you don't know which one is KDE, which one is setosa and which one is versicolor, if you cannot tell from this color maps, we know that this color map RDBU is versicolor so this is versicolor but if you still want to be sure you can pass let's pass the shade parameter so if we pass the shade parameter and then set it to be true you'll see that it will be shaded right so now we know that this is versicolor and the other one is setosa i'll just remove the shade attribute and leave it like that so this in this KDE plots note that we have petal length on the x-axis and petal width on the y-axis we can change this also let's change the position of those so that petal width is on the x-axis and petal length is on the y-axis let's do that so what we'll do is Let's pass setosa that petal width. So that will be on the x-axis and petal length will be on the y-axis. And same thing here. Petal width and petal length. Let's change their color. Let's use blues D. And we'll leave the second color map to be RDBU. Let's run it now. Okay. See, now we have petal widths on the X axis and petal lengths on the Y axis. So that's how you can draw two KDE plots for bivariate or two variables. And again, you can also apply the other attributes that we have learned for instance contour lines or the the contour lines or the other attributes that we have seen in the previous lecture okay for instance we can make this n underscore levels to be equal to let's say 15 and run it again you will see 15 contour lines here and so on so this is the example i have for you so for you to exercise you can use a um, sepal length and sepal width so try to draw two kd plots in the same in the same graph and then use sepal lengths and sepal widths and use any of the two iris species and compare your result 
and try out the different attributes like shade, different color maps, or number of contour lines and so on. Okay. The important thing to remember is that you need to have both of your KDE plot methods in the same cell. Otherwise you'll get two separate KDE plots. So for instance, if I run this in one cell and then run the first line in a separate cell, I'll get two separate KDE plots. Let me show you. So RDBU, if I run the first cell, so I get a KDE plot for our versicolor species. And if I run the second cell, I get a KDE plot for our Cetosa species. Great. That's all I have for the lecture on KDE plots. Thank you everyone and see you at the next lecture.